In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your calendar within Goha Level. Now, if you don't know what Goha Level is, Goha Level is an all-in-one marketing and sales platform to help you to grow and scale your business. Now, it's not just about the actual platform, but it's about the community and there's so much more around it. And do you know the best part is, is that you can save thousands and thousands of dollars a year because you don't need to have all these different softwares like a funnel builder and a website and a course creation and all of that stuff. It's all in one platform. So before I dive into this and show you the tutorial on how to exactly set up your calendar using Goha Level, my name is Joy Nicholson and this channel is about helping you not just to grow and scale your business, but also your mindset and your habits because ultimately it all works together. So please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on further videos that can help you in your journey. So let's dive into this. I'm going to share my screen with you. When you log into your Gaha Level account, this is what you will see. So obviously you've got Launchpad, Dashboard, all of these things on the left-hand side. I'm not going to go into this. I'm going to focus specifically on calendars. Now also just a quick note here, you see my, lo my logos on the top there. This is my agency logo and a coaching logo. Like this is what we do, initial marketing. And this is because I have white labeled Goha level. So you can do the same. I mean, if you are running a marketing agency or anything like that or a coaching business, you can help people by helping them to set up their stuff and you can charge for that a month. And also I do provide great bonuses on my actual sign up with affiliate links. So if you are interested in signing up to high level for a two week trial, check out my link below. There's always bonuses and I swap these out from time to time, but there's always great value there. So let's dive into this. Let me show you how to do a calendar within Gaha level. So you can see there on the right hand side, you've got my calendar, all, all of that stuff. So there's different calendars here, different appointments, weekly, you know, appointment bookings, all of this stuff. So let's dive into the actual setup. On the top, you've got calendars, appointments, and then calendar settings. That's where we want to go into. And then on the right hand side, you will see there's a button that says create calendar. Now there's obviously templates that you can use, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to go from scratch so you can see how to set it up for yourself if there's maybe not a template that you don't want. Now on the top, on the bottom here, you can see there's some buttons that you can select from. Also, just a side note, High Level constantly upgrades and updates the system. There's weekly updates on the system, which is actually amazing. So just the option that you have these like two and the one coming soon options on the calendar top that you want to set up, that's fairly new. That's only a few weeks old. So they really, really go out of their way to update the system all the time. Okay, so let's go into just the first one, round booking selection. Now you can see here that you have an appointment distribution. So you obviously optimize for availability or equal distribution. You just need to choose whatever works for you best. Now, what we have to do first is we have to choose a user. Now the user comes in by actually the people that is in your system. So the people that is actually on your account. So if it's you and your business partner, or you've got a whole team of people, they will be listed as a user. So I'm gonna, gonna choose myself, for example. Now you can also say this is a high priority calendar. Maybe these are people that are your paying clients and they get a preference to book in your time or you have a low priority people that you're just going to do strategy calls with. So, you know, their priority is not the first. And then you've got your custom connection. So you can do connect Zoom or you can connect Google Meet. So it's either or, it's a fun or up, it's, it's a great option. I'm just going to choose Google Meet for now. And then you can pick your Google Meet connection. So I don't have Zoom connected here currently or any of the other ones. I haven't set that up. Again, this is a new feature, but you just obviously, or you can just put in the meeting location. So if you use something like Riverside FM, that's what I use, then you can just put the link in there. Also, by the way, Riverside FM is really cool. If you want to record vertical videos, I will drop a link to that below as well. So let's dive into this. So on the top, on the left here, you've chosen all your things. Now you want to say, how would you describe your calendar? All right. So let's say this is, let's call this coaching calls. And then the description is, you don't have to have a description, but it's always good to have something. Calls with joy on how to scale your marketing. Okay, if I can scale marketing. And then you have your slug. Now you have to have a slug. So just think what it is. Is it going to be a 60 minute coaching call? Is it going to be a whatever that is, right? So normally 
I will just say version two, because this is because obviously I've already got one of those set up for platform paying clients. So this is then what you have then for your, your calendar. And then you can say neon, a neo or classic, doesn't matter. That's just the widget type. That's how it's going to look. You can always come back and change this. And then you choose your colors. So I like green for calendars because it, for me, it's like a thing that's going to happen. And then the username is automatic thing. The contact name there, so not username, contact name. So the contact name, that is the person that is signing up. So say Susan in the Caribbean is signing up to your calendar and she signed up with her name. That name is going to say Susan. Okay. And then you say save and close. And on the top here, you can see what settings you want to use. So you can say 15, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever it is. So we've said now that's a 60 minute call. So you want to make the slot duration 60 minutes. If you feel like you need more than 30 minutes between calls, then you can say you need an hour and the duration. So the buffer between appointments, you can do that or you don't have to do that. This here will be enough. And then you've got appointments per slot user. So we only want one there. And then appointments per day, you only want three appointments. Okay, and then obviously the pins, because if you're going to say three appointments, but you're only giving yourself here, say maybe from 10 to three that people can book an appointment, that won't work because you say that it's one hour duration and it's one hour intervals. So logically, you know, that doesn't make sense. So you just have to choose whatever options work for you. Play with your settings, understand what you want to do in your business. Duration notice, I like to know at least two days before the time that somebody has booked in an appointment with me because I need to be organized for my calls. Date range is then, you know, whatever that date is, you can choose the week, the month, whatever that is like, okay. Again, to your discretion, what works in your business. Now you can see here, then you set up your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can set out your times. It's automatically fills in at 8 to 5 p.m. And you just have to choose what works for you. And you can obviously change it here to, I don't know, like say maybe 12 p.m. or 2 p.m. or whatever that is. Now, also keep in mind that the times here that pops up, this is the time zone that you use to log into your Go High Level account. So if you are in the in America, it's going to be Eastern time or Pacific time or whatever time zone you are in. Okay. So it doesn't show that specifically here, but this is the time that pulls through. I get asked this question often. So I'm just making sure that you guys understand that part. You save and you close or you continue. And then this is the last confirmation. So custom form is, this is a form that you can let people complete. So you can just choose whatever form you want. I'm just going to say, oh, test calendar. Okay, there's a calendar. You can use a Stripe payment. So if it's a, a call that somebody has to pay for, then you connect your, your Stripe is already connected in the back end. That's a video for another time. But you connect your Stripe and then this will go through and you can say, okay, well, my Coaching calls is $150 per US dollars per hour. And then your X amount for this appointment is that. Okay. And then you have an acknowledgement email that you can set up. And then your contact, you want to receive notification for all of these things. Obviously, you want to make sure that you've got the email alerts there, etc. Again, just whatever you want, just go find, you know, find comb the settings, see what is what you want to use in your business, what works for you. And obviously you want people to reschedule and you want to allow them to cancel because you don't want people to not be able to reschedule if something happens and then you're waiting on the appointment and there's a no show. Okay, so rescheduling, it does actually help with people recent, like have a reason not to show up. And then you can go as far as you have putting some marketing in here. If people have received this calendar link from, from Facebook, you want to put that Facebook pixel ID in there. That's very important. And then you can do some custom code. So everywhere, like you can look to everywhere where there's a little question mark, you can go in there and understand what that means. Okay, there's a little explanation. So the same goes there. If you want to, this can be include HTML, JavaScript, and da-da-da. So you can put custom codes in there. I'm not going to go as deep as custom coding. And then you can do like a message here from custom message or from the URL direct. So custom message is easy this is just that they're going to get to say hi hey, thank you for booking your appointment and then you complete that so it's very very simple to set up it takes 10 minutes this is replacing Calendly I used to use Calendly I don't use it anymore because I've got this okay so now you've got your calendar set up now you're going to ask me but Joe, how do I get this in my funnel or in my website so what you do then 
I'm just going to go to the tutorial account for the purpose of this one. So over here, we're just going to usually use the automotive thing and then just go to appointment and edit. And you can see here, you've got a calendar there. Now, it's very easy to create a calendar. You just make sure that you're in your element because remember, you can't have a row without an element. You can't have an element without a column. You can't have a section without a row. It's like building Lego. You have it all together. So now you want to say, okay, I want my calendar in there. And then there's your calendar and you choose what calendar you want. So we've called it, um, say, breakout session or whatever. This is not a different account, but that's the option. And then you just choose your calendar. Also, you can change the colors in the calendar. That doesn't have to be blue. If you're very brand focused and you want to make sure that it's all looking nice, you can change that. Okay. I'm not going to go into the details. I do feel like personally, that's a distraction. Just book the appointment and get it done with. Don't faff with things that's unnecessary. But some people are very brand focused and that's okay if that's you. Nothing wrong with it, but there is a way to custom code it. Okay. So let's go to the preview of this and see how it looks like. So the preview is basically if you have connected your funnel to an actual URL, a actual domain name, then this is what you would see. And then people can go, they can click the time, they can say, yes, I thirty I am, that's a date I want. They can select their details and book an appointment. And then that's the message. Remember that little message that you saw there, the bottom, the custom one, that's what you get there. And additional, you can just say, uh, yes, please contact me via uh, Zoom or whatever, right? And then you submit. And now you can add it to your calendar. You can say add it to Google Calendar or add it to your, your Outlook Calendar, etc. So now let's say we add it to our Google Calendar and here you can add it to your calendar. So it's amazing. It really is amazing. So, and that's it. So now you see the process of somebody actually, or how you create your calendar and the process when somebody books this call with you. So anyway, there you go. That is setting up a calendar within Gaha level. Quick tutorial for you. If you have any questions or if there's any other videos that you would like me to do a demonstration on, I'll be happy to do so. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.